All right, Shalom, Wom, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, Bashem Makakwadash. Double, uh, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well. And peace and blessings to the elect brothers of Israel that's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. All right, uh, this video is going to be called Logical Fallacies. And. Uh, I'm going to bring out a few logical fallacies and bring out uh, a few scriptures and show you a few examples of logical fallacies, uh, uh, you know, for edification's sake. And, and uh, the thing about logical fallacies is when, when someone breaks one logical fallacy, they, they usually break multiple because they, they're not trying to be logical, all right? Um... Matter of fact, let's start by bringing out that phrase, logical fallacy. <clears throat> okay, it says, according to Google or thoughtcode.com, it says a logical fallacy is an error in reasoning that renders an argument invalid, also called a fallacy, an informal logical fallacy, and an informal fallacy. In a broad sense, all logical fallacies fallacies are non sequiturs arguments in which in in which a conclusion doesn't follow logically from uh, what predicted all right so basically logical fallacy is a, a, a well, let's look up that word fallacy real quick it says a mistaken belief especially on based on unsound argument <clears throat> so it's an unsound uh, logic. All right. There's no evidence. There's no proof. There's no logic. It's just based off of something else. They're trying to base an argument off of something else. And uh, <clears throat> and I'm gonna play uh, <clears throat> the flavor of the week. All right. Uh, Caitlin Bennett because she tried to approach some uh, Hebrew Israelites and she got confounded. And she resorted to logical fallacies to argue, all right? <clears throat> but first, I'm going to get this scripture. This is 1 Corinthians 14 and 40. Let all things be done decently and in order, all right? And this goes for a discussion, all right? Chiefly, when we go out on the highways and byways, and when we deal with uh, uh, scoffers, scorners, and, and even sincere people, we still have to do it decently and in order all right one question at a time all right we don't answer certain questions because <clears throat> certain questions don't all always or, or people may ask biased questions which is what she was doing all right she was looking for a specific answer so that she could you know expose them or whatever but i'm gonna get into it to do it yourself. Our ancestors right. during the slave trade right. we must be killed with the sword. So as a result, all right, guys. So what we have here is a bunch of black people saying that white people deserve to die. White people, absolutely. That's exactly what's All right. So our first uh, logical fallacy is appeal to popularity. All right, and it says appeal to popularity is an example of a logical fallacy. A logical fallacy is using false logic to try to claim and um, to to make a claim or argument. Appeal to popularity is making an argument that something is a right or correct thing to do because a lot of people agree with doing it. This type of fallacy is called bandwagon. All right. So what she's trying to do when she called out to everybody is to try to appeal to everybody <clears throat> that you know these people are wrong because they're calling for uh, 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 white people to die. <clears throat> All right, but that's really not the claim. It's claiming that Edomites um, are to die. And they're saying that it says that in the scriptures. And they, they you know, are reading scriptures that say that. All right, we read scriptures that say that. Great Millstone reads scriptures that say Edomites deserve to die, and that's very logical because it's written, all right. But a appeal to popularity is something unlogical, just because you have numbers behind it. 
Just because you can get a bunch of people to say one thing doesn't make it true. All right. <clears throat> and that's written in the scriptures. <clears throat> All right. Exodus 23 and 2. It says, Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil, neither shalt thou speak in a cause to decline after many to rest judgment. All right, <clears throat> you know, so you're, you're trying to, um, it says, neither shalt thou speak in a cause to decline after many to rest judgment. So she starts calling out to many to rest judgment. You know, she's calling, she's crying out to a bunch of people so that they can uh, make a judgment call on this. And the scriptures clearly say not to do that. You know, if you want to get to the bottom of their point and try to come to a conclusion, you you go decently in order and go back and forth, not try to bring many into a, a, a situation. How is that not racist? It is racist. So you're admitting it. It is absolutely racist. Why is that okay? It is not okay to say people deserve to die. So, no, I can deal with whoever I want to. You guys are advocating for murder of a certain race. That's disgusting. You're saying I deserve to die. You're, oh my god, this is why we should have guns. Holy shit. Verse 21 again. No, slaughter for his. See, there she goes again. She puts a mic in someone else's face, trying to appeal to popularity. Because obviously. The scriptures plainly say that this truth isn't for everybody, that there's an elect. You know, the, the scriptures clearly say that the Bible is only for Israel. And it also says that there's an elect within Israel. So the Most High doesn't really care about the majority, all right? So you can stick your camera and, and microphone into everybody on the planet Earth. They may say that, yeah, it's wrong what these people are saying. It's wrong... The great millstone is wrong. That doesn't make it right. Children! You are the children of your forefathers that put in a lot of work to do this to the so So I deserve people. to die because I'm white. So and, and oh, hold on, I'll let it. I deserve to die because you are I'm the white. Of your I deserve. Do I? Do I deserve to die? So she's she's making a hasty generalization of. Her thinking that she deserves to die because the fact that she has so-called white skin. <clears throat> now that's a hasty generalization. All right, let's look at that fast fallacy. All right. <clears throat> a hasty generalization is a fallacy in which a conclusion is not logically justified by sufficient or unbiased evidence. It's also called an insufficient sample, a converse accident, a faulty generalization, a biased generalization, jumping to a conclusion, which a lot, a lot of women do. They jump to conclusions way too fast. It's a hasty generalization. If she would have shut the hell up and let the brothers expound on their point, saying that, you know, break down that, um, you know, yeah, it's not every person with light skin <laughs> is, is an Edomite, but as a whole, Yes, white people go back to the line of Esau. But not every person with white skin, so-called white skin, is an Edomite. Because a lot of uh, uh, Edomites like to say, oh, well, not all white people own slaves. And there were some white slaves, which is true. That's why we have to expound on our point. Don't make a hasty generalization saying all white people are going to die or all black people are Israelites. No, that's not true either. Because there's tares. Because your, your, your biblical nationality is determined through your father's lineage. If your father's father's father, so on and so forth, go back to the line of Israel, then you're an Israelite, no matter what you look like. And vice versa, if your father's father's father goes back to any other nation, then you're not an Israelite. It's that simple. But she wouldn't... <coughs> uh, 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 let them expound on it, and she jumped to a hasty generalization, or she jumped to a conclusion. And uh, <clears throat> she's also trying to appeal to emotion. All right, 
which is another logical fallacy. It's, you know, it, it, it's basing, basing judgment off of your emotions rather than logic. Um, <clears throat> which is also written in the scriptures. It's like, yeah, kind of hard to type with one hand because I'm holding the camera with the other. Yeah, this is Jeremiah 17 and 19. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? You know, because your heart wants to appeal to emotions. You know, you're... you're, you're your body is wired a certain way, you know, your mind, whatever you want to call it, you, <clears throat> it's wired a certain way to, to <clears throat> justify yourself, all right, to protect your pride, to protect your ego, all right, to, you, your body is programmed in a way to make you want to feel good all the time, so, and, and something that doesn't feel good is when, uh, you're proven wrong. You know, if you're in the wrong, you don't feel good, and you're and you're programmed to 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 justify yourself. But what a righteous person does is an, is accept fault. You say, "Yeah, I'm wrong. I need to change." But it's very hard to do that, um, and only people uh, that the Most High is dealing with, only they will do that. Only they will. Uh, uh, look at it logically and realize that they need to better themselves. Um, I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, this is a red hearing. This is a, another logical fallacy. A red hearing is a kind of fallacy that is an irrelative topic introduced in an argument to divert the attention of listeners or readers from the original issue. You know, so this is basically when... <clears throat> You, you're basically expounding on a topic and the, the person realizes that um, they're losing <laughs> the argument, all right? Their point is being dismantled, and so they change the ch topic, all right? <clears throat> and and this, there's a bunch of logical fallacies, and I encourage brothers to research them uh, and, and do videos on them, you know, just get this word out that and the the origin of uh, 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 of these fallacies actually come from the Greek, right? You know, from from the philosophers, because they weren't given, uh, you know, they they didn't have a god, so they were just wandering and trying to find truth, right? But so so they came up with ways to uh, debate, and if you broke these logical fallacies, and they knew that. You, you weren't really expounding on a point. So, I mean, you can use these devices against them. All right? <clears throat> but with that, I hope this video was edifying. And uh, shalom.